like Tic Tac Toe, the series in which you're mashing up two different things and find a play that has that in common. And today we're joined by Jack54. How you doing, mate? I'm doing very well, mate. Very well. Here to test my knowledge once again uh, and hopefully put you in your place. It's never going to happen, but, you know, we'll give it a good go, mate. Yeah. Good win for the Liverpool at the weekend against Brentford. Yes, so. very good. I'm, I was... Um, I thought that was a very dominant performance, to be fair. I don't think going mm. Brentford away is an easy fixture. And, I mean, we saw... I think Arsenal struggled a little bit against them. So, yeah. I, I, it was nice to see Salah back as well. And unfortunate for Jota and Curtis Jones to be... Well, get injured. And potentially Darwin Nunes. I don't know if that was, like, precautionary. I'm hoping it is because of the final. But, yeah, just not ideal, mate. Not ideal. Yeah, come City dropping cost. points as well. Shout out Chelsea yeah. as well, by the way. They they played pretty well. I don't know why Pochettino went to a back five because doesn't that just invite more pressure mm. from City? And everyone knows if you try and defend a, or if you have a low block against City, I mean, you get found out. Most like, They're one of the teams that can just break it down. So, I don't know. Yeah. Let's dive into the first round. What would you like to start with? Um, let's start with a bit of Premier League winner. I will go for PSG since I'm wearing the shirt. I will go for um, Portuguese League. I always think about um, what's it, Fast and Furious when I think of Liga Nos because they're like mm -hmm. Nos on a car. <laughs> Let's say a Premier League team or an English team, maybe maybe Championship one. Let's go for a bit of Tottenham Hotspur. Tottenham Hotspur with a prem title. With a prem title, come on. I will say Morocco. Ooh. We'll end off with the uh, Saudi League. What would you like to start with, the Jack on the Grid? Um, all right, let's start with uh, PSG and Prem title. That might be harder than... Yeah. I'm going to go for David Luiz, mate. I'm Not sure. really a footballer, Jack, but I'll let you have it. Um, yeah, one prem title. <laughs> He's a liability, that's why. It, like, it was mental when Chelsea let him go and Arsenal were like, yeah, we'll pay you 120 grand a week. Yeah, man. To... Yeah, oh, God. Let's go for the... Do I want the medal? Yeah, why not? And we will say, for the medal, we'll go for that Vinicius guy who's at... Uh, oh, yeah. The one who scored a hat-trick against... Fulham uh, yeah, he's at Fulham now. He scored, nah, I think he's Marine? a nasty player. Mm. Well, when he he's... scored against non-league side marine or whatever it was yeah he scored a hat trick and he was like celebrating fully against a non-league side <laughs> uh, to, uh, just every single time i've seen him he's either like thrown at an elbow or like lent him with mm -hmm. his head or something to i don't know just fair play i get it and you do get some brilliant players that it's do that kind of stuff and use it to advantage but you know he's not been great has he um i will say Let's go Prem title Saudi League. Let's just go for N'Golo Kante, mate. Kante can play with that. Could have had Mares as well. Yeah, it's quite a few to be fair. Yeah, so I need Spurs Prem title. Now, I have got one in Judas, Sol Campbell. But is there anything more interesting? I don't think there is, to be honest. Nah, we'll, ju we'll just say uh, Sol Campbell, just to be safe and everything. I don't know. Spurs Morocco. Yep. I think. You won't know this player played for Spurs, but you definitely know this player. There's one in my head. I don't think he played for Spurs, though. Tarat. Um, did he play for Spurs? Uh, I know it's QPR. Definitely a QPR. It's a London club. Yeah. I feel like there might be a player where Spurs signed him and then didn't really have a long stint there mm -hmm. and probably just got transferred out. Because it was just one of them weird signings of theirs. Um, I'll just chuck one out there. Save the viewers. Um, let's go for... You chose Morocco as well. That's the funny thing. You saw, I know, you yeah. PSG when I, when yeah. I was looking at uh, Morocco, though, I was thinking... For some reason, I was thinking it was going to go on the on your side. Yeah, yeah. So I was thinking, like, oh, Moroccan Liga Nos, Prem Tata is quite a good one. Did Benatia go to the Prem? I swear, we, I'm just going to say it, Benatia. Screw it. It's not Benatia, unfortunately, Jack. Is it um, one of the ones I said? You said him as well, yeah. No. It's uh, Adel Tarrat played 15 oh, times for uh, Tottenham Hotspur. Mate, the first one I flipping said, yeah, and I've bought That's what it. I mean. I thought, I thought you'd just say it, because that's the only kind of one that would have made sense. Um, there's also uh, Elham Dowie. Um, 
He played for Derby. Played quite a bit in the Serie A as well for Fiorentina. Quite a skillful player. Yeah, let's just fill in the rest of the board. Liga Nos PSG. Um, cheeky bit of Renato Sanchez. Yeah. Woodwork. I mean, PSG Moroccan. Rocco's straightforward. Yeah, Hakimi. I don't know if they've had anything <laughs> in the past, but that's that's obviously the the easy one. Moroccan Saudi League. Do you know who this is, Jack? Um, Moroccan Saudi League. Big band from Ireland would help you. They downloaded their songs on Apple. Uh, what's it? Apple Music. Everyone got it for free. I don't know. It's Bono. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. <laughs> uh, nice. Saudi League Liga Nos would be bits of Cristiano Ronaldo. Of course, yeah. Absolutely. Well, a lot easier than you think. Did not um, know about that. Yeah, just knowing about Tarax. Basically, I did um, I guess the footballer with Tarax. He's got a great career like Fulham, Tottenham. Benfica, AC Milan, and then QPR, of course. Mm -hmm. A few other bits and bobs as well along the way. But yeah, that's uh, yeah. round number one done. One nil to me. Into round number two. I get to start this time. And we will go for Aston Villa. Aston Villa. All right. I will say Serie A. Title. Winner. Yeah. Let's just go Real Madrid. It's just a... FA Cup winner. You end off with anyone to play in the Turkish league. Uh, let's go for a nation, Croatian. And I get to start this time. Start top right. Let's try Edin Dzeko. Surely would have won it with Inter. No, he didn't actually. Ah. No. Super Coppa Italia and Coppa Italia. Won Damn. the Bundesliga and the Prem, but no, uh, no Serie A title with Inter. He must have joined the season after that he won it. Um, FA Cup winner Real Madrid. I was thinking. Owen, mm. I don't know if he. I'll just say Beckham. Yeah, David Beckham's a much more obvious one. I've just thought of a better one for top right, so let's go back there with Bal Balotelli. Would it with oh, Inter? Yeah. Serie A top one. I'm gonna go. Was it Inter that Ashley Young was at? Ashley Young. Let's have a look. I was typing his name out as you were saying it. Won the Serie A with Inter hey. Milan. Well done. Happy days. Uh, so I need a Croatian. In the Turkish league. Struggling to place a face there. Dun, dun, dun. Mm. Like uh, like Lovren's never been there. Mandzukic. They're like the, the go-to Croatians. Perisic hasn't played in Croatia, uh, Turkish league yet. Might have me a Jack. You might have me. If you can think of one. Um, I think I'm, I've got one player that I think's worth a chance. Ooh, what's the centre-back called with Lovren? With the ponytail. What's his name? Is it Vida? Is it Vida? Have I just made up a name? Yeah, it is Vida. There we go. And he has played for Besiktas. There we go. Damn it. I'm going to go. It's a bit of a bold one, but you'd hope for his time at Arsenal and City. Gail Clichy. Never won the FA Cup with Manchester City, but uh, did win one with Arsenal in 2004 uh, 2005. Very Come on. Lucky. FA Cup Aston Villa. Let's just say, um, now I've got his face, James Milner, surely has a FA yeah, Cup I mean, at some point. He, he won it with Liverpool. So. That's, yeah, that is true recently. I mean, we can both still win. Likelihood of us both still winning is mm. probably quite slim. It's going to be a draw, I think. But I'll just block you off, to be honest. Croatian, Real Madrid. I mean, it's not difficult, is it? Luka Modric. Yeah, there's there's the boring one, Jack. You could have said Kovacic. Yeah. yeah. And... <laughs> It might just be those two, to be honest. I can't think. There might be someone, someone in the nineties. Um, Serie A title or Real Madrid. I don't know if like Figo ever won it with Inter or Roberto Carlos. Um, Beckham probably not with AC Milan. Uh, but I'll say Fabio Cannavaro. Just play it, play it nice and safe. Fair, but I could have said Ronaldo as well. Yeah, with Juve. Do you know? I, I had a. After Real Madrid, which club has Ronaldo scored the most goals at? What would you say, Jack? Um, now you've said that, probably Juve. It's actually Man United. I thought it was Isn't Juve, it? but yeah, Man United he was the club. He scored a lot of goals though at Juve. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's a what hell I'm of a load of goals. At. But I suppose he was only what was he there three seasons? Two at Juve. Two at Juve. So yeah, I suppose. I don't quite get at how it works. United for far. Yeah. Was it two thousand and three to two thousand seven? Hmm. 
Cannavaro is actually only won one Serie A title. Oh, no. Because the other one got revoked um, because of the uh, scandal, the sport, you know, the betting scandal they had in Italy. Yeah, yeah. Madness. Uh, uh, and then Croatian at Aston Villa. I'd be very impressed if you know this, Jack. Um, Klasnic? It's nearly, I think it's Kalinic. Or is it Klasnic? The striker. Ooh. I don't know if he might have played there as well. Mm -hmm. um, where's the goalkeeper? Yeah, it's both, both the same name, Kalinic. Um, the goalkeeper spent seven times at Aston Villa. I think I would have watched him in the championship against Derby. Uh, cool. All right, let's go to round number three. What would you like to start with? Um, let's start with, yeah, South Korea. I will go for Jack, a bit of Swansea City. <laughs> You've done a very, very silly thing here, Jack, because now I'm just going to choose niche things with South Korea. <laughs> I, the thing is, I know the player that you're on about. and I'm, Is that actually well, fair think, enough? I think I might know the name. Let's go for Bundesliga title. Mm. Let's go for a bit of the Eredivisie. Um, let's go for... I'm going to go for Leicester City, mate. I'll end off with... Yeah, let's go Napoli. What would you like to start with, Jack? Um, I'll go for the Bundesliga title, Swansea City. You must Port know this. Is he Portuguese, Jack? Yes. Yeah, Renato <laughs> Sanchez. <laughs> go yeah actually yeah, i'm gonna do it for that south korea in napoli yeah we're gonna go kim min jay i'm gonna go for i know one for eredivese is south korean but i it doesn't really do anything for me on the board so i've still mm -hmm. got to be a bit tactical bundesliga eredivese did it this is interesting napoli no pepe reina has played for Bayern munich but it's whether he counts the title because he only played like three games in my head, it should count because, yeah, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else that's more... Qualifying games. Don't you have to play a certain amount of games, though? I don't know how it works in the Bundesliga, though. It could be just, like, being a squad. And that, that's yeah. it. Yeah. No, I'll try Pepe Reina. Let's, uh, there we go. 14-15 Bundesliga title with uh, Bayern München. Napoli, Leicester City. Mm. I feel like there's quite an obvious one here, and I can't really think in my head. I'm going to go for a bit of a risky one. I know he played for Inter. I don't know if he played for Napoli, but I'm going to say Cambiasso. A terrible shout. Inter Milan, Olympiacos, and Leicester City. So, unfortunately, he doesn't work. You got the right position as well, Jack. Central midfielder. Swiss. Gokhan Inler is the uh, the correct answer. I'm pretty sure he would have been on the bench for that title-winning team. I'm going to fill in the rest of the board. Do you know the South Korean from Swansea? Um... See, I was going to say Kangin Lee or Lee Kangin, but he plays for PSG. Yeah. It's uh, Ki Sung it Young is the one. He played for Newcastle and um, Sunderland as well. Grin Eredivisie, do you know that is? Parchi Sung. It is indeed for uh, PSV. PSV. And then Eredivisie Leicester City. I don't know if like oh, Richie, no. Richie the Lat, Belgian player, might have just. A lot, of, a lot of England. Royal Antwerp is his uh, current team. Yeah. Let us know in the comments if you do know Leicester City, <coughs> Eredivisie. And then Swansea Leicester. There'll be, there'll be a good name for that Leicester. I can actually do that because I've got this. B ref, if you want to check two teams, uh, all their players. Um, Leicester, Swansea. I want to say like a Lee Trundle or something like back in the day. Old school Swansea player. Ah, oh, there's really, really good ones actually. There's Carl Norton. Play the season. Nathan Dye is probably the most obvious. Played uh, both clubs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, ben Aimer, the goalie. Ryan Bennett and Andy King. <clears throat> cool. Into round number four. I get to start again. And we will go for a bit of Roma. Okay. Um, Let's go for Monaco. Monaco. Let's go with a bit of Everton. Um, Let's go for Champions League winner. I'll end off with a nation. Yeah, let's just say an Italian. I will say relegated. Yeah, big relegated. Cool. I get starts. Yeah, because he fills in another section. I'm gonna go Hamas Rodriguez for the middle. I will say um, we'll go for Everton relegated. Uh, Dwight McNeil. Yeah, with uh, Burnley. I'll let you do that, Jack, um, and give you that bottom row. And I'll <laughs> say Roma Monaco, and uh, we will say. 
bits of John Honorisa. Actually works. Italian and relegated. Oh, God. My first thought was Barini. Well, I don't know if he was at Southampton. No, he definitely wasn't when they got relegated. Oh, I know. I know. Um, The winger. Yeah. What's his name? Begins with a G, but sounds like... uh, Yeah. Got a funny first name. Yeah, Willy Ganotto. Nah, we'll love that. We'll love that. And now I need Roma relegated. And I will go for the next Messi, Bojan. Oh, would have been relegated with Stoke, surely. <laughs> yeah. Champions League winner and Roma. Pretty simple. Uh, mm-hmm. We can go for a bit of Genie Wijnaldum. Or just Mo Salah, Allison. Yeah, there's quite a few for Liverpool, to be fair now. Uh, but I can still win it. Monaco Italian. Oh, God, yeah. I love when I do that. When I've got a two-way win, it's like... <laughs> I thought I've blocked it. No, not, not really. Um, there is the centre back called like Raggy or Raggy. Do you know what I'm going to go for, Jack? I'm going to go for Stefan El Shorari there. Ah. Go for Monaco. Yeah. Something like that. El Shorari. Nice. Uh, to finish off the board, then Monaco Everton played the World Cup final in 2010 in goal for Netherlands. There's also a really funny one. I'll, I'll give you the funny one. It's Lasina Traore. A really tall. He's about seven foot tall, and he was awful for Everton. Um, and I'm pretty sure. Recognise the name, can't picture the pace. Yeah, he was like six foot eight or something. And then Champions League winner Italian, literally any anyone, just because Jorginho, just to be funny. Um, <laughs> there we go. Makes it two 0 to me. But going into the final rounds, what would you like to start with, Jack? Um, let's say. Newcastle United. We will say we'll go for the MLS. Anyone to play in the MLS? Can we do something like five clubs or more, or like six clubs or more? Yeah, or sure. Two? Yeah, five clubs or more. Would you want six? Uh, your choice. I feel like five is six more. Maybe a little bit above average, but then six is a bit more peculiar. So yeah, we'll go for six. Let's go for by Leverkusen. Let's go for a nation. Let's go for a bit of. Let's just go Brazilian. Screw it. And let's end off with, let's go Sevilla. What would you like to start with? Um, I will start with bottom right. I'll go, I'll go for Marcano. Is it Marcano, the Brazilian centre back? Or Fernando, I mean Fernando as well. Probably should have said that, it's a bit easier. Is the Marcano Sevilla? Marcano, Brazilian. That's my cat and my cat, yeah. I think I'll let you have it, Jack. It's uh, Macau. 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 It's basically without the N. That's that's. Yeah, it that's, the, that's yeah. I mean, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They've got nine <laughs> games to severe, though, surprisingly. Really? Not, not, I actually played that much. Brazilian MLS, Douglas Costa. Um, six plus clubs in Korea. Really need to get this middle one, to be honest with you. I will just go for, let's block off the top bit and I'll say six clubs in Korea, MLS. I'll go Zlatan. There you go. Go Sevilla Newcastle. Yeah, Sevilla Newcastle. Luke De Jong. Very nice. Um, Six clubs in Korea. Bayern Leverkusen. I can't remember where Javi Alonso was at the very start of his career, but obviously Real Madrid, Bayern Munich, Liverpool. Did he play for Leverkusen as a player? I'm pretty sure. He's got to be bordering on six plus clubs. Screw it, we'll give it a go, Javi Alonso. Never played for Bayern Leverkusen. <laughs> Bayern Munich was the one he played for. Yeah, Sausage Dads, Liverpool, obviously. Real Madrid. You've had six, though. He yeah, never played for Leverkusen. The ones to the middle, Jack. Uh, you've got Otero Vidal. You've got Lucio. You've got Millet. Uh, let's say Lucio to uh, get me the three in a row. And three wins in a row in this tic-tac-toe. I do feel bad for you, Jack, because I think you've chosen things that are quite tricky. You tried, but uh, fortunately fallen short. Shall we finish off the board quickly? Weirdly, Newcastle MLS I was struggling with. I don't know why I couldn't pinpoint anyone for that yeah six clubs severe which i think negredo played for him at some point he's been most spanish clubs 
Uh, Brazilian at Bayer Leverkusen. See Roberto, obviously, Lucio's right there as well. Newcastle by Leverkusen. I'm sure there's, there's like, a, like a very bang average Newcastle player. Mm. Oh, do you know that what? Oh, has gone to the MLS. I was going to say Paul Dummett. <laughs> nah, but it's not Paul at, Dummett. Still at Newcastle. <laughs> the one I've just thought of American at Newcastle was Gucci on a way you, something like that. He was a centre back. Oh, Miguel Almiron, obviously. Yeah, there's a good one, actually. Um, Yedlin. Yeah, DeAndre Yedlin. Yeah, there's actually quite a lot, a lot of Americans at uh, Newcastle. Yeah, Gucci. This guy. I don't know why I remember this guy so much. Um, but yeah. Oberfemi uh, Martins. Yeah, there's a good one for uh, Timbers, wasn't it? Portland Timbers, something mm -hmm. like that. Um, yeah. And then Newcastle, what can we do for that? Let's, let's go on to FB ref and see what we could do. But Newcastle by Leverkusen. You know what, Jack? Might not exist. Really? It's not on here. Yeah, I don't think it exists, weirdly. I think we... Uh, I do. I do enjoy that when we make things that literally are impossible. <laughs> Um, yeah, maybe maybe Newcastle will spend some of that Saudi money on all the good Bayer Leverkusen <coughs> players when they win the title. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, let us know if you do know. But yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy today's episode. We're about to record a video over on Jack's channel, so make sure you head over there, check it out, drop a like on the video, and we'll catch you all next time.